The T20P has landed in America. Hi, I'm Taylor with AgriSpray Drones. We are going to do an unboxing of the T20P. We'll compare it to the T40. We'll look at the components and we'll just see what this drone can do and kind of look, talk about some different markets it might be uh, applied in. So let's get started. Here's the box on the T20P. It's a bit smaller than the T40, obviously. So initial impression just looking at this drone, it looks almost identical to the T40 from the top, just smaller. All right, we'll see if I can pick it up. Now this is one of the advantages you're supposed to be able to pick it up by yourself. It's a smaller version of the T40. And yes, it is a lot easier to pick up by yourself. Same configuration as the T40 looks like. We've got four arms. They fold out the same way. The props look exactly the same. Looks like the props are going to be the exact same as the T40, but of course there's half as many. Nozzle on the back here. Looks to be the same as the T40. Take off the other arm. There you have it, the T20P. So, like I said, this thing is literally the same drone as the T40, only smaller. Half as many props, half as many motors, but we're using the same props. Looks like the radar is almost identical, if not identical. Camera's the same, binocular vision is the same, headlights the same, uh, the pumps look the same, and the spray system looks the same as the T40. 20 liter tank, so about five gallons, and the tank sits on these scales just like the T40. So these scales are gonna do volume by weight. So it's gonna tell you how much volume that the tank has in it as you fill it up. The battery compartment back here looks to be the same as the T40s. We have our RTK antennas right here. Those look the same as the T40 as well. And of course our cam lock arms look the same also. So before I get too far, let's just do a quick size comparison. So if we back up and look at both of these drones side by side, I'll fold these props out. You can see the T20P is not that much narrower than the T40. And I think part of that is because of these massive props. Uh, we've got you know, four motors uh, on this drone. Uh, we've got eight motors in this drone, but the same number of arms. So it looks like the, the T40 has the same motors, which on the, on the T40, T20 system, compared to other drones, they're gonna spin slower. They're gonna be higher torque, essentially. And that's how you can get by with these larger props. Uh, other drones are gonna, like the, including the T30, is gonna have smaller props with motors that are gonna spin faster. So it, I'm thinking just by looking at this, our swath width on the T20P will probably be very similar to that of the T40. Of course, won't have as much downforce as the T40, but with the configuration and these large props, I'm betting it's going to be very, very similar, which is really good, which is going to make a small drone like this, a 20 liter drone, which now is considered a small drone. It's going to make us this small drone actually very efficient if we can get a wide swath with it. And if our pumps can discharge at the same rate as the T40, that's going to be uh, crucial as well. Okay, let's look at uh, the power system on here. I'm going to grab a battery, actually two batteries, because the T20P 
should be able to run on the T30 battery or the T40 battery, which is great because if anybody has a T40 and you're thinking to yourself, well, I'd just love to have a smaller drone so that I can do spot spraying, I can transport it easier. You don't have to have new batteries because they slide in, clip in and work just like the T40 batteries on the T40. So same battery and same charger. So I'll pull this out. Here's the T30 charger. Same thing that we use for most of our T40s. And here's our, our heat sink or our cooling station for the batteries. And of course, works the same, which is awesome, which means if you wanna have two drone systems, one for spot spraying, one for small area, one that you can transport by yourself, and then one for whole field application, T20P, T40 combination, you can have the same batteries, same charger, it's gonna be a great combo. All right, let's look in the bottom of the box here. This is our pump cover right here. Looks like it came off whenever we opened the box. We'll take this top off and we'll look at the remote for the T20P. Remote box looks to be the same as the T40. And the remote is the same as the T40. This is the DJI RC Plus remote. So this remote's gonna be used on the T40, the T20P, DJI's M30 as well. Very, very robust remote. Whenever we, we first unboxed the T40, we compared this remote to the T30 remote and the T20 remote, and this remote here is extremely robust. We've got covers on all of our ports up here, our USB-C, our HDMI. We've got waterproofing around here. We have a large screen that you can see perfectly uh, in bright light. And on the back, we've got an external battery so you can run this remote on an external battery and internal battery. You can swap this external battery out throughout the day, meaning that you can operate literally 24 seven with two batteries swapping back and forth. Really, really cool feature on, on the DJI RC Plus remote. And the range on these, we've tested the range on the T40 and it's amazing. Crystal clear camera out to a mile. As long as you can see the drone, then you're gonna be able to see the camera no problem, which is unique in the sprayer drone space and something that only DJI has. And if the T20P is a little sister of the T40, that means that the range and the camera and everything on that is gonna be exactly the same. So when we look at this camera on here, obviously it is the same uh, camera as, as the T40. This is a 12 megapixel camera on a gimbal, which is also unique to the spray drone world. Only DJI has that. This camera can be operated by the user. So as you're flying across the field, you can tilt it down, tilt it up, makes it really nice for spotting those weeds. And on a platform like this, where you can use a small drone, a 20 liter drone with a big battery, a T40 battery, that means our flight times are gonna be amazing. And if we couple that with a camera that has crystal clear HD quality imagery on the remote, then spot spraying weeds with this machine is this is gonna be the best machine out there for spot spraying weeds. It's long flight time, high discharge rate, wide swath, and a crystal clear camera. And with the T40 and T20P systems and the RC Plus remote, you can actually do mapping, meaning that you can image that area and create spot spray missions based on imagery. So automated spot spray missions. And like I said, this system is gonna be a game changer when it comes to that. All right, let's look at the spreader system. I'll go back around to the back and we'll open up this spreader box. Of 
just like the T40 and all the other DJI drones, every system is available with a spreader box. The drone itself comes with the spray system installed and the spreader is an option. And again, we're essentially looking at a miniature version of the T40 spreader here. So if I can find the readout, yes, this spreader is exactly half the size. Right there it says 35L, that's 35 liters, which is the same as the T40. So the T40 is a 40 liter tank on the spray system, but a 70 liter tank on the spread system. And the T20P is a 20 liter tank on the spray system, but a 35 liter tank on the spray system or the uh, spreader system, excuse me. So if that's any indication, we have pretty good understanding of the T40 and it has a capacity of about 100 to 115 pounds of product, which means that this is gonna be roughly half. Uh, so you're looking at about 50 to maybe 60 pounds of product at the max uh, for the T20P. And the spreader system on the bottom looks to be exactly the same as the T40 spreader system. There we go. So you see we have a spinner disc on the bottom and we have our gates right there. And again, this is gonna be the same as the T40 where it's going to be on those scales. So the same scales that the spray tank sits on are the scales that the spreader tank sits on as well. And so controlling your rate and calibrating for rate is extremely easy on the T40 and the T20P is gonna be exactly the same. And behind me, I do have the T40 spreader tank. So there's just a size comparison. So you can see it is almost exactly half the size looking at it there. Just a miniature version. But it's really nice to see that they kept the really big opening here. Uh, this is this is huge, both literally speaking and just from an operational standpoint speaking. Uh, it's great to have a large opening like this whenever you're dumping in a five gallon bucket of product or using a seed tender to fill. Uh, this is great. And a five gallon bucket is probably going to be exactly the same size as this tank right here, about 50 pounds. So what would you use a spreader system for on the T20P? Well, it's going to be probably the same as what you'd use it on the T40, just smaller jobs, obviously. Probably not going to be putting out a lot of fertilizer uh, with this system here. Um, you could if you wanted to, it would, it would take you quite a bit longer. But where I'm thinking this is going to be great is cover crop, where you've got, uh, let's say there's, there's cover crop now coming, uh, penny cress or cover cress. Uh, you've got clover, uh, you've got um, turnips and radishes that you can put out at very, very low seeding rates. So anywhere from two pounds to maybe eight pounds an acre. And if you can hold 50 pounds with this, then you could get a lot of work done with a small drone that's super easy to transport like the T20P. So that is what I'm excited about is those cover crops that are very, very low seeding rates. I think this drone is gonna be a great, a great tool for that. Okay guys, we've taken a look at the remote, we've taken a look at the battery and battery station, we've taken a look at the drone, we've taken a look at the spreaders, we've done a size comparison. Um, so really, if you guys are familiar with the T20P, or the, excuse me, if you guys are familiar with the T40, you should be familiar with the T20P by now, it's just a smaller version, but it's gonna serve a great, great market, especially for those who already have T40s and do custom application and wanna expand into those niche markets, the T20P is gonna be a great resource for that. If you guys have questions, uh, if you want to see a T20P in person, uh, then make sure you contact us. We are at AgriSpray Drones on social media and info at AgriSpray Drones or give us a call. We'd be happy to chat with you. Thanks.